So let's look at a slightly different condenser arrangement than you're normally used to seeing. Many guys don't even understand or even know how a condenser works and a refrigerant flow. But this one is a little unusual in the way that right down here, you see this larger pipe that's about the size of my pinky finger here? This comes from the compressor. So this is a hot gas vapor coming from the compressor. And instead of normally coming from the top of the condenser and having the refrigerant flow work its way down, they did this a little differently by they feed it into this side and this is a two pass condenser. So what they do is they feed it into this side and this whole header all the way up to about, I don't know if you can see if this will focus. Come on, focus right there. Do you see that little tiny mark right there? That little tiny mark is a plate that is welded inside, it seals this off. So there's a header tank up here with this uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven tubes right there. They are on this side of the header tank. But on this side is where the hot vapor is. So this hot vapor comes into this header tank right here and it goes all the way up to this point and it makes one pass going all the way to the other side. Then it comes into this tank right here on the side where you can see my finger. And they take that hot gas from the top. It's still a hot gas, but it is cooled down. It's almost a liquid. There's some liquid inside of it. It's just not perfect because it's only a one pass. So what they do is they take that semi-liquid, there'll be uh, liquid droplets suspended in vapor, and it'll go in this tube right here goes into this tube and it drops right in you can see it drops into the receiver dryer then it goes through the filter plate and top that has a filter material it goes through the desiccant BBs that are in the center another filter plate in the bottom and then the liquid drops out to the bottom there'll be some vapor but the liquid and the oil will go in the very bottom where you see the sight glass right there where my finger is touching inside there that's a straw and the straw is going all the way to the bottom. So coming out of the sight glass, there'll be near a solid column of liquid coming out and it will come out this block where they have it machined and they have this pipe going in. So now it'll follow this path right here, of nearly a complete liquid. Depending on the conditions, the RPMs, the atmospheric temperatures and humidity and all that kind of stuff, uh, how the fans are working. Sometimes there'll be some bubbles in this and sometimes it'll be a solid column of liquid. And this goes up to the top of the condenser. And where I told you before, there's that little separation from that plate in there. It feeds that solid column of liquid and it cools it off some more. So this upper seven channels, two passages, is your subcooling of pure liquid that travel across come all the way to the other side of the condenser and now come out of a service fitting block and go into this line right here that will be solid liquid and you can see where it goes backwards into the car and that travels and delivers a solid column of subcooled liquid hopefully without bubbles to the expansion valve and so that's why you see one two three, four. There's four fittings, two fittings on each side. They're all air conditioning. This is not one of those ones where they have a power steering or transmission cooler line connected with part of the condenser. If you've ever seen those before, this is all air conditioning. This is all refrigerant. Two connectors there, two connectors there. All right, that's it.